three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think one of the most uh, impressive things about Stonehenge is its actual placement with regard in its latitude and longitude. For example, Stonehenge is placed here because a unique right angle occurs with the midsummer sun rise setting at a right angle to the moon's most northerly moon set. And that doesn't happen anywhere else in the UK. It's unique to Stonehenge. Yeah, well, oddly enough, we have the same situation in Egypt where they would use the Big Dipper to mark the rising of Sirius at a right angle. So the priests would watch certain stars of the Big Dipper and know exactly when and where Sirius would rise. So I'm not surprised. It's, a, it's something that would naturally come to sky watchers. You know, after they, they find a place like this and they watch what's going on, they would quickly realize that they, they can use the sky to predict. Hence this idea of prediction. But you need fixed spots. Yeah, exactly. And you mentioned earlier that it was a, a natural planetarium here on the Salisbury Plain because you have such an expansive view. And the archaeology of the site has proven categorically that this was a cleared landscape because of snails. You have snails that like uh, open spaces and snails that like closed wooded spaces. And all the snails found here. Yeah, yeah they yeah. make good archaeologists snails. <laughs> well. Then it would explain the, the position of the site, yes, because you have a, a natural 360 degree horizon which would mark literally everything that rises and sets along the, 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 that horizon. So it's, it's a planetarium, a natural planetarium. It's interesting. Okay. <laughs>